what is up it is me i am back it is i um but i figured today since i'm starting my youtube channel off i would give you guys a little intro about myself because i did a video on what i'm doing with my life but i'm not doing a video about myself so here i am with that information if anybody cursed i got it in this sparkly notebook that was 50 cents uh, <laughs> the first thing i wrote down is i have a big heart but i'm very aggressive which is true my heart is big um but if you do me wrong i no longer care <laughs> and then um my next thing is i've got some hobbies don't know if anybody else has hobbies because it seems like now these days people don't have hobbies it's just people messing with their phone and watching other people do hobbies which is weird half to me so i don't know whatever i mean i can understand if you need to learn but just i don't know i don't know i'm a different type of person i'm a different breed don't attack me internet please <laughs> And then I'm also into astrology, I'm into herbal medicine, like apothecary, right? Apothecary, I think that's right. And then I'm into sewing, like right now I am making a quilt. I've never made a quilt, but I figured why not? YOLO, I need to make at least one quilt in my life. Um, most of the fabric I got for my quilt now, I got at a thrift store and I went in there because I wanted to make a quilt out of weird patterned fabrics that I found and liked because I am obsessed with texture. Like the texture of this, the texture of that, the texture of this, the texture of, not the texture of this. I hate the way cardboard feels and styrofoam, but I like certain textures, so I want to make a quilt out of all the textures that I like, and I'm excited to get this quilt done. Um, I also have pets written down. If you know me, I love me some pets. I love me big pets, little pets. By pets, I mean animals that you keep in your house and trap and feed those i love those things they're awesome i have had many guinea pigs i've had many hamsters i have many dogs i've had many cats that's it i had a couple goldfish they didn't last long i had a parrot or not a parrot a parakeet that thing sucked <laughs> but i like furry pets i have i'll show you guys my pet family different a different time i've got a big giant dog and two cats and a boyfriend. He's not a pet, but he might as well be. He's my man. I love him. Um, and then I also wrote down I'm kind of creepy. If you can't tell, I'm a little creepy. That, yes, that is a tooth tattooed on me. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a creep, but that's okay. I like being kind of creepy in a little bit because then that keeps the weirdos away. Or it attracts weirdos. But most of the weirdos that I'm trying to keep away don't come at me and by weirdos i mean judgmental people and like people that i'm not really trying to be around so if you dress a certain way it'll keep certain people away just so you guys know and then also i've written down here that i'm an old soul because i get told that all the time so i feel like i need to throw it in here uh, i get told i'm an old soul i get told that i am not one of this generation and I agree. Couldn't agree more. With that being said, um, I have written down I'm a free spirit. I don't know if you guys are into astrology, but because it's starting to become the main thing, I'm saying you guys probably are into astrology. I am a Scorpio. I have Aries rising and a Sagittarius moon. So I am crazy. And it's awesome. I love being crazy crazy not crazy please don't come at me internet i know that was not the right use of the word crazy please don't come at me internet with your cyber swords and photo bombs please do not attack me if i use words incorrectly please be nice to me because i'm just talking and then if you don't like hearing me talk you do not have to watch this video 
Um, right now, I am trying to get my life in order. Um, if you watch the other video about what I'm doing in life right now, that unravels. That unravels the whole I'm trying to get my life in order. But I still very much am trying to get my life in order. And I wanted to write it down because I need a little bit of a reminder. Because sometimes I feel a little bit lost or a little bit misguided. And it's simply because I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out life. I'm trying to figure out where I belong. I'm trying to figure out my kind of people. I'm trying to figure out all that good stuff. So... I just wanted to write that down, so maybe if anybody else is in the same boat as I am, I don't know, maybe we can get along. Maybe we can start a life together, meaning internet life. I don't want to start a life with anybody but my man, so. <laughs> and then I also have written down I hate neon colors. I don't know why. I just really hate bright neon colors. And I've told my boyfriend before that I want to see colors I've never seen. Just like saying I want to see parts of the world I've never seen. I want to experience new things. But I'm going to be so upset if a color that I have never seen before is neon. I will be so sad. I hope it changes my aspect on the way neons look. Because as of right now, I have always hated neons. So if I ever see a new color just let's hope it's not neon because that burns my pupils you ever seen the episode or not the episode the movie the spongebob movie and they're like laying on the table and their eyes are like <sighs> that's me when i see neon <laughs> um and then i also have here the will to be successful my boyfriend and i are going to be successful it's only a matter of time. We have built a utopia of things we love and each other. And all we have to do now is be successful because we already love each other. And what and success is different for everybody. So that doesn't mean that I want to be rolling in dough. I do, but <laughs> uh, it doesn't, I don't know. There's more to life than just rolling in dough and making money, which I have come to find out here in the past couple years of my life that there is a lot more to life than what is perceived. <laughs> and then I have written down, I hate how technology has taken over. And that's very true. As I sit here in front of a phone, talking to it as if it's my friend. You guys are my friends, but right now this is a phone, and this is how we do talks now. We don't go out in public and interact with each other. We interact with each other like this. And I like interacting with people like this. This is why I'm doing it, but that was just an example. Like, I don't like, like, that part of technology I like, but there are other parts of technology that I don't like. I don't like, I know this sounds old manny. And pathetic <laughs> but I don't like that it's always changing I know that's unreasonable but I don't like it so and then I have uh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world and that is very true I am a very nice person I'm a very loving person I'm a very giving person but it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world if I'm having a bad day there is a 98% chance that not one person is going to stop by and ask me what's wrong. There is a 98% chance that nobody gives one flying crap about you. So, with that being said, and if you haven't proven yourself to me, sorry. And by proven, I mean... I, I see actions of people, and that's what I judge a person based on, is their actions and how they react towards certain circumstances, how they perceive beauty and life, and how they, I don't know, 
it's a dog eat dog world. The only way you can tell a person's true intentions is if you're like me and you're Scorpio. So, uh, I don't know what else to say about myself. That last bit was kind of just rambling. Um, a little bit of more about myself. I'm tattooed. I love tattoos, if you can't tell. Um, I don't think our physical bodies that we are in right now matter. That's why I'm tattooed. That's why I don't care that sometimes I'm ugly. Because you don't die in this body. I mean, you do die in this body, but when you die, your soul... You don't take this body with you. This body doesn't matter. This body is just to be on this earth to experience this earth. Whether you believe in God or you believe in whoever or whatever you believe in, you can't deny the fact that your body stays here. So that's something else about myself. A little bit more about myself. With that being said, what I just said is I am not scared to die. Like, it'd be fine. <laughs> it'd be fine. I get to see people I love. I would get to, I don't know. I don't, like, I love this earth. I love nature. I love the people in my life. I love my pets. I love, there are a lot of things I love, but I'm just simply not scared of death. Like, I'm ready to die. If somebody pushed me off a cliff, I'd probably be like, wee! <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, there's that. Uh, a couple more things about myself. I used to be very into makeup and I used to think I would start a, U a makeup channel, but then I got to thinking, and no offense to any of the makeup artists out there, but I believe makeup artists are a dime a dozen. <laughs> because all make, unless you're just like a superb makeup artist and you just are like so creative with it and can use the and can use the utensils and tools if you can use them like then you are a true makeup artist but if you just copy other people's work you're a dime a dozen <laughs> i am sorry to say that uh, but it's how i feel i think you should be your own original self oh a little bit more about myself um I am a really free-going person. I either don't care at all or I care to the tops of my being. It's either I don't give one fragment of care. You like my word use here because I can't be using some words. Um, I either care way too much or not at all, which is awesome. Because the things I care about, I choose to care about. The things that I really truly want to care about, I put effort into it and I work on it. And the things that I don't care about, I just simply don't care about. Don't give attention to it. Don't feed in to the things you don't care about because then you start to become somebody you're not and then, then you start to become somebody who's miserable and somebody who is not enjoying what they should be so i don't know that was just a little bit about myself there's tons more but that's just a smidgen amount um i like to consider myself very creative i would think other people would too but i mean maybe not i am very creative <laughs> but yeah, there's that. If, uh, yeah, goodbye.